Hi everyone and welcome to part two of my Sew With Me Luderlo system. Right now we have, this is the bodice part and I have my center back seam uh, pinned and this is where I'm going to sew up to and then we're going to work with this top part. But in the meantime I made myself a little string loop and I'm going to either work with a pearl button or a pink one. I'm just not sure which two I'm going to work with yet or which one I'm going to work with. So right now I'm going to take this to the machine and sew it up and then I'm going to um, press the seam open and I will show you what that looks like once I'm done. All right, so this is what I have. This is my center back seam pressed open and I continued the seam pressed open all the way to the top. So now I'm going to, um, I might add my loop in right here. Because when that gets folded down, It will be tucked away inside there so I'm I'm going to add my loop in right here and that will be all tucked away nice so that's what I'm going to do right now is keep that loop there so I'm gonna attach the loop right here just right at that seam there because that's going to fold all right so one more time what I'm going to do is place my loop right at this seam right here I'm going to place my loop there place a pin and then I'm going to top stitch around and pivot and then back up so I will show you when it's done so this is what it looks like. I've top stitched a pivot there and I've attached my little um, loop and I'm going to trim that because I don't need that much. All right, so I'm not, we're not going to do it just yet, but this will fold over and that will be the right side. So my next plan of attack is I am going to attach my um, skirt portion and I'm going to create a casing so that we could put an elastic there. So I'm going to get my skirt pieces ready and I will be right back uh, to show you what we're doing. All right, so here I have the skirt pieces. This is going to be the center back seam. So this is my side seam and my other side seam. So we'll work with this one for now. And I'm going to pin the front skirt and we're going to do the side seam. So I'm going to pin and then sew up that side seam. And as you could see, all my edges are surged already. This is a technique that I learned in the Berta style course that I took a few years back. And it's one of my favorite um, techniques that I learned. It just helps keep your seams nice and flat. Do I always do it? No, but I should. But. Um, it's just one of the things that I really liked about the course was, you know, because when you serge after you've sewn the edges together, you have that bulk of the seam going the same, same side. So this way, when I press these seams open, they will in fact remain open. So I have that pinned. I'm going to take that to my sewing machine, sew it, and then um, press it open. So I'll be right back. So here we have the skirt portion completed. This is the center front. This is the side seam, side seam, and our center back seam. 
So the next thing that we have to do is insert the skirt portion into the top portion lining up our seams, right sides together. So I'm going to turn my top to the right side and then I'm going to lay my top like this. All right, and I'm going to insert my top to my skirt portion like this. So I'm going to insert the top and now I'm going to play around and line up all of my edges, all of my seams. going to pin in place. So I'm matching side seam and I'm matching the other side seam. And the center back seam. should lay and pin nice and even so I'm going to just pin All right, so I'm going to leave you right there for this episode. This is part number two. Uh, the next time, next episode, we will finish. We will attach this and sew our seam to uh, create a casing and we will insert the elastic and then we will attach the sleeves. And then after attaching the sleeves, all we have to do is finish the neckline, do the arm band or the, the sleeve band and hem so that's all for this episode and i will see you again next time for part three bye